watch this consider a 10 mbps ethernet lan which means they are talking about ethernet lan whose bandwidth is 10 mbps that has stations attached to to a 2.5 km long coaxial cable which means length of the uh, lan is 2.5 km the lan spans for 2.5 km given that the transmission speed is 2.3 into 10 power 8 meters per second they are given velocity and then the packet size is 128 bytes out of which 30 bytes are overhead overhead is nothing but the uh, you know header size and all so whatever is not data that is nothing but the overhead so when you are sending 128 bytes of data i mean 120 bytes of frame one packet uh, 30 bytes is going to be headers then find the effective transmission rate and the maximum rate at which network can send the data they are asking about two things one is what is the maximum rate at which network can send the data and what is the effective transmission rate so the maximum rate at which the network can send the data so in ethernet even though we have 10 mbps bandwidth we cannot use the entire bandwidth the maximum rate at which we could send the data is nothing but throughput for that uh, see the maximum rate is nothing but throughput in ethernet we cannot use complete bandwidth we can only use some part of it therefore we have to see what that part is so the maximum rate is throughput and throughput equal to efficiency into bandwidth so see everything is given or not so one thing is bandwidth is given which is 10 mbps and in order to find out efficiency of ethernet the formula is 1 by 1, pa 1 plus 6.44 a a is tp by tt and into bandwidth and now to compute this what are the factors we need 1 by 1 plus 6.44 into tp is d by b and tt is l by b but then here it is in denominator therefore b by l into bandwidth right so just see if all these parameters are given or not one is we need the distance is the length of the land given yes distance is 2.5 kilometers given and other is we need the velocity yes 2.3 into 10 power 8 meters per second velocity is given and other is bandwidth bandwidth is already given 10 mbps and other is length of the packet length of the packet is 128 bytes therefore using all this you can find out the throughput which is nothing but maximum rate at which we can send the data you please work out the math i'm not doing that math you can just uh, substitute it but only take care that uh, when you are writing 128 you multiply with 8 because it is in bytes per second right it is bytes is given but you have to convert it to bits because bandwidth is given in bits per second okay and then what is the effective trans transmission rate which means out of this entire uh, throughput what is really useful so usefulness is about the data so even though you have throughput as so and so but then what is the effective effective throughput is actual throughput into even though you are sending 128 bytes data out of which 30 is wasted therefore 98 this is the effective transmission rate so the entire trans the maximum throughput possible is this but out of which what is effective 98 by 128 the reason is 98 bytes is useful out of total 128 bytes right so you please do the math i am leaving it to you so that is how you could solve it and uh, you know this is a kind of question which has never been asked in gates they might Okay.